transport in this country needed something revolutionary, some real blue sky thinking. A challenge that British rail engineer Charles Osmond Frederick took quite literally. His answer to the problem was a flying saucer. And not just any old flying saucer, but one powered by a laser beam. In 1973, care of British Rail, Charles patented his design. I became interested in what sort of system you could use that would do the things that flying saucers were reported as doing. So I sketched something out, and we've got device here that you use to get the thing going. So one way of doing that is to have a, a disc which you spin at very high frequency using laser beams. That was the, the basic idea of how you were getting some thrust. But fast forward a few decades and it turns out Mr Frederick's idea wasn't just a pie in the sky. So this is a laser-induced discharge here. But because Dr Like Mirabo in Brazil has also invented a flying saucer powered by a laser beam. He calls his vehicle the light craft. But this time it's not funded by British Rail, thankfully, but the Brazilian Air Force. I believe light craft are the future of flight transportation. If all things go well, we could be transporting the first person by 2025. We could have a fully mature green transportation system for planet Earth. Dr. Mirabo thinks the light craft will totally transform intercontinental travel as we know it. A big jumbo jet takes off carrying 100,000 pounds of jet fuel, all right? And a beam-propelled vehicle, there's no fuel on board. And so the entire structure, size of the vehicle and everything shrinks way below what you would have with a conventional aircraft. Dr. Mirabo has already tested miniature prototype light crafts in the US. And although they look a tiny bit like designer lemon squeezers, he has successfully proved that a laser beam, that's light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation to you and me, can superheat a spinning light craft, causing the air beneath it to explode and propel the craft upwards. Three, two, one. The first time we demonstrated uh, light craft in flight, this was compared by many people to the Wright brothers flying the first airplane. Yeah! Woo! Here in Brazil, Dr. Mirabo is testing full-size light craft engine segments by firing a billion watt laser at them inside a sealed tube. The explosion created is incredibly four times hotter than the surface of the sun. And it's this huge explosive power that Dr. Mirabo confidently believes will send a full-size passenger light craft into the sky. It's realistic to assume that we could have a vehicle like this flying within about 15 years, and it could create a brand new revolution in flight. You'll go to a light port, buy your ticket there, no advance reservations required, and get anywhere on the planet in 45 minutes.